Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Dreams. I'm up here in Columbus, Ohio. You can see it's a Buckeye town. I even put on my Buckeye shirt. <laughs> but we're going to take a look at an interior basement system and how that works. So in this basement, there are actually two things that we need to look at. One is the foundation wall. You can see it there. But this has a crawl space behind, you know, the, a lot of the home is built on a crawl space. Take a look. And you see back in there? And water is getting back here on this wall. I don't know if I can see it out here. I have to crawl back here. But water is getting back on that side wall over there. Over here on this side of the crawl space, behind that, insulation water is dripping down and it's actually coming from the outside this home was built about 23 years ago and you know most of the time when we talk about waterproofing exterior interior we're thinking water comes from underground but you know what we're going to go outside and look up so if we step back here's the front of the house you can see those gutters but you also notice that the upper roof tremendous amount of roof comes down and splashes across the lower gutter and it's all coming down comes into this three inch corrugated pipe and that runs all the way out to the street and I'll show you that curb hole and where that water discharges and like I said all of these homes in Franklin County and there's a million plus homes they all have curb holes and that's where water is supposed to go so let's go around back here you can see things are mounded up and graded away from the home very well, very well. Here's the back downspout, three inch corrugated pipe, goes out to the front, and you can kind of see the erosion a little bit right here, but the real problem is over here. I'm gonna show you up in just a second, but can you see the gravel, the sand? This is from an overflowing gutter and of course it's just washing out you know all the sand that's between these pavers let's look up don't forget to look up <laughs> you see that gutter how it comes down and splashes across the lower uh, a lower roof and then it comes down the side where i just showed you the gutter's overflowing right there and you can see evidence of this you see all the, the dirt on the wall right here splashing out of this little bed a little container and just splashing it's getting splashing way up high that water is going down along this exterior wall and into the crawl space this family room is all crawl space and you see it overflowing here too see all the dirt remember to look up right up there that gutter's overflowing during a big rain crawl space ends right here and becomes basement and this is all basement all the way around the rest of the house over here is a sump pump and i showed you that downstairs you can see where it comes out it comes out above ground it's all caulked and sealed just like a water faucet would be so no cold air can get in and then it goes down people ask about freezing the answer is this this you don't need a heater or anything like that you know, if it freezes, you unscrew this clean out and the water will come straight out. And of course, when it unthaws, you'd put it back in. That is the best way to do this. The heater, that works well too, but a whole lot of money. This is the way to do this. Downspout comes down. They've got this one tied into the sump pump discharge. It could be vice versa. That line comes out, picks up the front downspout right there. You see it? And it runs all the way out here to the street. Let me show you that discharge. And again, this that was PVC, but it's actually corrugated pipe um, here where it comes out. This is corrugated. So somebody replaced a little piece of that. But you can see corrugated pipe. And that's the sump pump and downspout discharge. You can see the water right here, not over there. That sump pump kicks on periodically. And it runs all the way down the street until it reaches a storm drain. Every house in this neighborhood, every single one, <laughs> they're exactly the same. 
there are curb holes. Big houses, medium sized houses, one story houses, everything. Sump pump in the basement lifts that water up, sends it out to the street, not to a pop up, but all the way out to the curb. And you can see this one has kicked on recently. You can see the water there. No water over there. <laughs> this one just kicked on. You can see it running. And it runs all the way down the curb until it discharges. Okay, let's go down in the basement. Let me show you one of the best systems for the interior basement. If you're going to waterproof that basement on the inside, this is the best way to do it. Take a look. So we've got the footer pipe. This is three inch perforated pipe surrounded by gravel. And you can see it's just below the, the bottom of the floor over here. Just below the bottom of the floor. Gravel perforated pipe, gravel underneath, gravel on top. Same thing on this side. So as water comes through and under the wall and up under the floor, it comes into these pipes, runs over to the sump pump. Sump pump lifts it up and kicks it out. Looks great. Notice that there's gravel on the bottom of this pit. This allows that water that's under the floor to rise into the sump basin and the sump pump still lifts it up and carries it out. That line, the discharge pipe, let me stand up here, goes up the wall and they've got it. You, you see me drill through the block of brick, but in a basement, you come out and just go right through the siding, you know, above the block, so it's a little bit easier, but it goes out. All of this footer system underneath of the work table comes all the way around this entire basement, all the way around the side. They've got a finished area over here. This, that footer system continues around. What's interesting is that behind this, uh, TV, the entertainment center, if I can get a picture of that, there's crawl space. Half of the house has crawl space, and then there's a finished basement or a poured basement. This is poured walls. So this is solid concrete. You can see the seams that run down. That one goes all the way to the corner. Let's go over here on this wall. You can see it better. Another seam here, but again, this is crawl space back here. And it's been encapsulated too, so all the way around this entire basement floor under the floor there is a footer system it just runs all the way around they work really good whether you're inside or outside these systems solve problems and you can notice here this is the pour of one section of that Solid wall. It's all solid concrete. This is stamped Stamped onto that wall to make it look like brick, but it's all concrete and it goes all the way around Like I said over to the sump pump Sump pump lifts it up and sends it out So here we are on the outside and you can see that sump line where it comes out the downspout drain they tie together clean out for the winter time if you ever have a problem where it freezes. This line is only three inches in diameter and there is a great deal of water coming off of that roof. Front downspout attaches to this line also and all of this water does not go to a pop-up. It goes out into the street where it belongs. I really should make a rant about that <laughs> because there's just so many comments about, no, you can't do that. And yet here we are, an entire neighborhood, an entire city with curb holes. I guess maybe Columbus is the only city in the U.S. to get this right. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. It's on. Hey, I'm Chuck with Apple Drains. It's Saturday morning. It's on. Live help. Check the description box below for all the information on how to join the live help session. And the topic is rainwater drainage. We're going to talk about everything 
all of your problems, whether it be a French drain, a yard drain, downspout drain, basement, exterior, crawl space, channel drains. I can answer all your questions. We're going to do a group help session, and those are the most fun. The group help is free, and everybody's admitted all at once. You will actually learn as you watch another person's problem because you'll see that same problem in your yard, and I'll answer those questions. So it's on.